I'm Chris Cobb from KX96. Thanks for coming out tonight. What fun we're going to have. Is it Friday at VIP party and you're the VIPs. How's that feel? Yeah. Ah. Listen, this is going to be a fantastic night. We're going to ask questions. We're going to hear some tunes. We want everyone to come forward when the show gets going. And now, the one, the only, Mr. Gord Bamford. Is it Friday? Yeah. It's a weekend here. It's time for me to kick things off with a nice cold beer. Been working so dang hard that I forget. Is it Friday? Yeah. It's a weekend here. It's a time for me to kick things off with a nice cold beer. Been working so dang hard that I forget. Is it Friday? Yeah. Been working so dang hard that I forget. Is it Friday? Yeah. The video for that song is really cool. Yeah, we yeah it. we uh, we shot the video in a very uh, oh, a terrible place to go to shoot a video. It was in Mexico in Cabo San Lucas. Oh, poor fella. Yeah. Oh, come <laughs> on, more than, oh. Uh, uh, yeah, everybody all at once. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, it was uh, we're down there on a kind of a, a fan thing again. We had a bunch of people come down. We played a show down there and. Uh, if you really look hard in there, a good friend of mine from the Blue Jays is in that video of start and catcher JP Aaron Sebia is in our You're video. right in there, aren't you, with the Jays? Yeah, he's a friend of mine, and, and uh, I fulfilled my dream down there. I got to throw a bullpen to him, and if you don't know what that is, it's like warming up for a ball game, and he was catching it. My wife said to me, she said, you know, you realize this is probably the best day of his life. And, and he said, well, probably not better than getting married. She says, yeah, probably is better than getting married. <laughs> What's your favorite song that I, that I play? Is it Friday yet? Is it? You're not supposed to like that song. It's about drinking beer. <laughs> One of my favorite songs is a song called Little Guy. A song I wrote for my son. Okay. And are we, are we ready to play that one right now? Are we? We're going to play it for you tonight, okay? All right. How old are you? Eight. Eight. What, was there anything over in that merch table that you might like? Shirt. Which one? The one in the right. On the right? Well, there's 30 bucks. Your mom can go get you one. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. You're going to go, after we're done this song for you, you're going to go pick whatever you want out. And actually, are those your sisters there? Yeah. They better get something too or you'll be in trouble. Okay? Thanks, buddy. In the blink of an eye Oh man, how time really flies It made me smile And as a tear fell from my eye It lit that room up, little guy It was the best day of my life now I'll laugh with you, I'll cry with you, and let my love surround you. And I'll dance with you, I'll pray for you, and wrap my arms around you when you cry. Little guy. How many years have you been at this? What has tweaked your interest? And at what age did you truly begin? You know, it's, uh, I didn't start writing any, my music until the second record, but uh, I've just been very interested in, in music and, and the business side of things quite a bit. And uh, I've uh, had a lot of good mentorship from a guy in Nashville whose name is Byron Hill, and he's uh, written many hits. He wrote the first number one song for George Strait, a song called Fool Heart of Memory, if anybody can remember that. And uh, Size Matters, Nothing On But The Radio. And uh, I knew right away after uh, the second or th the third record, really, I, things started to come together for me. And... Uh, you know, there's nothing like going out and playing music for everybody and watch, looking out in the crowd and seeing everybody sing along to your songs. I mean, it's just a, 
It's an incredible feeling. Uh, you got a real knack for writing songs that people can relate to. How on earth did you develop that, or did that just kind of happen? Like, how did? You know, I uh, just try to write songs that uh, people can really relate to. You know, whether they're having fun or they're about kids. I mean, country, that's the greatest thing about country music is it's uh, you know can really reach out to people, and we've had tremendous uh, you know emails and stories from it. So I. It's brought really by design. It's just who I am. If you could start your career all over again, I know you weren't into sports. What would you do? Oh, I'm not sure. I, I got my second year electrical. I guess we could have used that here tonight. We had a few problems. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a little earlier. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I worked a lot on the farm, drove a lot of concrete truck. I was really lucky because in a small town, they were everybody kind of, you know, was kind of rooting for you so I could punch in the time clock and kind of punch out anytime I wanted to. And they let me, let me come back again on a Monday, you know, so it was... Uh, I did lots of stuff trying to trying to make it make a go of it in, the, in this career until I, I was able to do this full time. Really, I like to say first that uh, "Life Is Good" is one of my all time favorites. That's a real yeah. great song. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All the shirts over there, I like every one from left to right. So. Yeah. <laughs> but I seriously like to ask you: if you had your choice of any Canadian artist, male or female, to sing a duet with, who would it be? Oh, Canadian artist sing a duet with. Uh, I have my own idea. And Murray, I think. Really? Yeah. I always thought person, you and Gordon Lightfoot, Bitter Green together would be awesome. Well, that would be a definite highlight as well, but I guess I was thinking more along the female side of things. <laughs> but ain't your eyes and lips and nose and hips has got me in this mess. Blame it on that ring. And for all you fans for coming out here tonight, I want to thank Sony, my label. We'll see you next time. Come and see us at Port Hope if you'd like. Thank you so much. How about a hand for this great band up here? Have a great night, everybody. Thank you.